Hello, I'm Kyle Burns from the University of Glasgow and in this talk I'll be showing how my colleagues and I have devised a method for encoding complex difficult bigraph matching operations through the use of a subgraph isomorphism constraint solver which significantly improves upon performance times of uh, currently used bigraph solvers. So bigraphs uh, you don't often really see in constraint programming and this is because they are a data structure more often uh, associated with a systems modeling and verification. However, bigraph systems often perform uh, frequent NP-complete matching operations that uh, are currently solved with SAT encoding to perform uh, transformations and substitutions in the graph structure. Uh, this could be seen as an interesting variant of the subgraph isomorphism problem, except uh, it's more, much more complex as you're dealing with uh, uh, directed edges as well as undirected hypergraphs in the structure and the matching itself is a mixture of induced and non-induced matching semantics based on the uh, presence and location of abstract nodes that you find in the input graphs. So we uh, encoded these bigraphs and adapted the subgraphs, uh, Glasgow subgraph solver uh, as an alternative to the currently used methods for uh, solving this problem. And uh, we were hoping that uh, this same method uh, could also be applied to future by graph operations such as a uh, relative pushouts or uh, by graph equality as well. So um, from a quick view of our results, we can see that uh, a constraint based solver performs much better than a SAT encoder for this type of problem. Uh, we see an aggregate speed up of uh, over 100. So we're very proud of that one. And uh, in our 10,000 plus test cases, we see that our subgraph isomorphism uh, solver outperformed current SAT encodings by an over 100% of all our test cases. So uh, if you're interested in uh, learning about bigraphs and bigraph systems and how we are able to apply constraint programming to solve this rather interesting uh, graph problem, uh, then please come and see your talk and uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy to present it to you there. So thank you.